Uh, hello. I'm not sure if I'm there yet. I think I am. Happy New Year! Life is good. Check me out. I got this. I got some. I got some Christmas money from my aunt for Christmas, and I immediately saw this sweet little hat, and I bought this hat. And I think that's your gratitude hat. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I love that I, I have a gratitude hat. Who doesn't want one of those? Especially <laughs> Happy, happy new year. I have been home sick with COVID. I am honestly super grateful. I feel like I barely got sick. So um, <clears throat> there, not to be, <laughs> knock on wood. I, um, I tested positive on Christmas Day. I actually was thinking that I had this kind of half expired test and I wondered, but I <laughs> didn't even feel that bad. And then I checked, I was talking to my parents. I'm like, I just tested positive for COVID. Oh man. <laughs> so I spent my week between Christmas and New Year's. A couple of days I had brain fog and I, I wasn't very good with cognitive thinking, but I spent my week being super intentional and I love that. And so if you know me at all, I love you my year. Somewhere in December, I start to get a little angsty because I wonder, like, how am I doing? <laughs> I so what I like to do is I like to go back through. I've got a, um, a planner, and I use my planner like my task list. And then I went through my planner. I went through my digital planner, and I wrote down my accomplishments for 2022. And I love this practice. So it really helps ground me. As I get to thinking, I am not any further forward in my life. I'm the same stuff, different day. <laughs> like it's like another year, another year has gone by. But when I look at my accomplishments, it always feels so good. Because I realize that even though I set these kind of global intentions, of my life and I get kind of distracted and I recourse correct and I get to course correct like I still get lots of things accomplished so I start out and I just do kind of a brain dump and I I wrote down my accomplishments for 2022 and then I ran out of room on that piece of paper so I started with some more and it felt so good to me from um, really in the beginning of this time last year, I was looking for a place to rent and um, my lovely colleague Jamie came back from uh, being on, um, she had duty, I guess, and she she came back and she said, I need a place <laughs> to rent. And I'm like, I'm already looking for, We show, I showed her all the places that I started looking and we agreed to kind of go into business together and find a place. We found a place. We remodeled. We rebuilt our website. We, like, we, like, I had, there's so many things that I did as part of setting that intention. And then out of someone asking me, like, what do you want your business to be like? What's your favorite part of what you do? And my favorite part of what I do and classes and offering opportunities for women to come together in community and to share and to grow and to learn and to just be vibrantly alive that's like my that's the joy of my joys so just thinking about accomplishments is a to to start your year again I just go back through my back at the places that I went to the trips that I took the tasks that I endeavored <laughs> and that feels super good. And then I like to see in the big five areas of my life. Big five. And, you know, goals are really the wrong word for me because it's all about. So sometimes I get all caught up with like I set a and then I don't meet it. And, it, you know, I know you've all heard this, like the SMART goals. It needs to be smart and measurable. It needs to be action-oriented. It needs to be, you know, you're endeavoring to do it. You're not waiting for someone else to do it. And you can, you can set these parameters around your goals. Well, that works great for me 
in some areas like you know redesign my website um, but it doesn't work so good for me when I'm talking about my spiritual development or um, my wanting to be deeply connected in loving relationships um, in all areas of my life with my community with my clients with with my friends with my family in in partnership like it it's this this it's like this global piece so i like to use the word intention and intention is good for me because then i can kind of riff into each one of these little categories of my life so i have health wealth calling that's what i think of as business or career relationships and spiritual those are my big five areas. And then I just kind of set some intentions in each of those. I did a little bit of journaling. There's my health, there's my wealth, there's my calling, there's relationships, spiritual. And down through that, I take a look at the common thread that has come out for me. And when I looked at my list of accomplishments, away from that, list going wow i really did a lot like i like good for me <laughs> like i got a lot done but i also felt like um like maybe i was too busy striving and doing and i remember earlier in the year i think it was around it was it was around solstice summer solstice or maybe it was maybe it was after it was probably it was probably the fall equinox because somebody said to me how was your summer and I, I did a momentary pause and I activities that I did and I and I I went it wasn't that great <laughs> what like I love summer I had this sense or this feeling that I had too much that there was too much doing I didn't spend enough time being or playing or hiking or laughing with my friends or going camping or pursuing joy like i was really mostly i worked i did the laundry i stayed home <laughs> not a rich full life experience to me so accomplishments list i kind of it was this kind of realization like for me i can check off the list but that's not what i want this year to be about i want this year to be much more about joy and flow and play and creation and and uh just this sense of like the thriving <laughs> and so the, there's a couple of things that i do so so now you've just saw me i listed my accomplishments i create these categories these big five categories areas of my life and then i write down these intention statements in them and then from those i distill like how do i want to play and show up for myself in 2023 so the thing that came up is that i want to play more i want to slow down and i wrote slow life movement slow food movement like farm to table like grow your food enjoy your meals take time to to cook meals i live alone i don't spend a lot of time cooking meals like I want to bring that back in as a way to nourish myself and my life. So one of the things that I do each year is I like to like four core values. And I think of these as waypoints on my inner compass. And my values help infuse everything so that I stay on track. You might have also heard me use the term like the rumble strip on the side of the road. So you kind of set these these intentions or these the, like down on the side of the road, which is kind of what happened to me when I went. Wait a minute, I'm not feeling enough. <laughs> oh dang! <laughs> I better get a hat. I better play more. I better have more fun. I better say yes more to better intentionally exercise and go outside and walk and hike and play. When I think about the waypoints for myself, what I what I honestly do is I look back at my previous years. Now I have a journal that I consider my, kind of my solstice, my quarterly or annually or biannually. Right now it's it's the year end and the summer solstice, but 
maybe it'll become the uh, equinoxes as well. It's where I take my reflection time and write down my desires. So when I look back in 2020, 20, at the end of 2019, I set these as my waypoints, harmony, gratitude, love, and ease. And I, again, I, I actually created words in my office and in each direction that I turn, one wall each has a word. In 2021, I brought in the words savor, nourish, joy, and kindness. I was really reverberating with the angst of the planet and all the rest of that. And I just wanted to slow down. I wanted to savor moments. I wanted to savor conversations. I wanted to savor people. I wanted to spend time thinking about being around people, doing nourishing things, nourishing myself with food, joy, and kindness. And then in 2022, I wrote down creative, gratitude, and prosperous like bringing in that, bringing that back into the fold. And now that I have had those, I, I've, I've kind of, if you think about a compass, I don't know if you've seen those Mariner's compass, there's like the north, south, east, west, those are the four main points. And then there's all these other little spikes on the compass. So maybe there's some other cardinal aspects. So I like to think of that, that quite possibly these words are still in my inner compass. They're the values. They're the ways I want to govern my life by. And for this year, I chose flow, play, create, and thrive. And for me, the flow, the flow state, that, that is my like overarching word for the, for the year. I want to be in flow state, like the moment when the wind feel, fills your sails and the, the, the sailboat's at a keel. It's right timing, it's right conditions, it's things aligning, it's things clicking into place. I thought, I, I was talking the other day and I was like, I just want the Rubik's Cube of my life, like all four sides, to just click, click, click into place, click, click, click into place, click, click, click into place and have every aspect of my life. So, that, so again, this is flow. It's a way of losing oneself. It's creative, expansive, gliding, grounded. It's reading the elements. It, it's embodied in the merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. That's flow state for me. And then I, I took, I took that, I did that with each one of my words, play, create, and I, I kind of wrote them all down and thrive and what they all mean to me. So when I got down to it, my action word, my power statements are, I flow, I play, I create, I thrive. And that just feels really, really good. So that is where I'm at today on New Year's Day. If you would like to join me and do a little personal assessing for yourself, look at where you're at with your accomplishments from last year to set some values, core values like inner waypoints on your inner compass, or if you want to flesh out your kind of intentions for where you are in the different areas of your life, health, wealth, career, or calling, relationships, spiritual connection to yourself, please feel free to share. You can reach into this group and, and share some of your thoughts. I am out here today with one of my favorite new mugs. It says Wish. It is a Starbucks mug that I got at Goodwill. It's purple. It's it says, joy to the world. That is my wish for you for the year. Like, happy, happy new year. May your heart be full. May your life be intentional. May you really feel like you can do whatever your heart's desires. And if you're feeling in a funk, if you're feeling that angst, you click in, click out of that, reframe, and connect into positive 
um, aspects of your life because I'm going to focus this year on raising my vibration. I'm going to bring that to this tribe this year and I'm going to keep us all grounded. I'm going to do my best to tune in with you more and more and develop this group into something really juicy and really wonderful. Have a wonderful day. Happy New Year. Whether you're watching me live or on the replay, chime in and let me know what little nugget did you take away from today? And do you feel like you need a gratitude hat? <laughs> I'm honored to share this journey alongside you, sharing our hearts, being people of intent.